Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're just doing a follow-up video on this uh, Hawker 6.7 meter boat so uh, that we did yesterday. And as you'll recall, this is a 36 volt encoder here. And the challenge was how to do a single house battery system and charge the 36 volt uh, from the Yami 250 in the back here. Um, just have a look now. So we've got the screen running up here now. We've got solar, 61 watts coming in. Low in the sky, it's cloudy today. It's pretty, uh, pretty average is a polite way of saying it. Uh, but yesterday we did 149 off two 140 watt panels. Uh, pretty pleased with that. 55% is about the best yield you get here uh, in the winter. Today, oh, today we've done 97 so far. It's early in the morning um, that we're getting off that. And then the way that this works is that underneath here, we have Scotty installed. Uh, you can see it there now. Uh, we put the step back in today here. So we've got the Scotty installed there. We've got three 125 amp hour lithiums there. They're hooked up as a single 36 volt run and Scotty here is charging from the 12 volt side to the 36 volt side when the ignition's off as it is now and there's no 240 going in it's running 36 back to the 12 and we've got the solar going in at 36 volt so we've got the 36 volt coming in from the solar and then Scotty runs 12 to 36 volt either off the 240 you can see at the top there just a 12 volt charger or off the engines in the back and that gives a single uh, house battery at 36 volt in that IP67 case down there it's actually 68 actually but in that case down there we have the turbo and we have the other devices in there that are sensitive to the water down low so that's all protected and then we've got the screen and the solar on the top I'm just going to show uh, the user what Judd will see on his phone uh, so he'll be able to see this all the time on his phone he'll see the location of where the boat is and I'm just going to set the geofence now on the phone. So this can be handy on your insurance. So we're just uh, zooming in now. You can see where we're located here. And I just use my finger on the phone to set that circle. That's the geofence location. If the boat moves outside of that, it's going to send an email to uh, Judd. And we also can monitor the communication on it to make sure that uh, it's communicating successfully. And I'm just going to show you now how I set the alarm levels. Uh, so this is what we offer on our goal level support. So we set the alarm level on this. And in this case, we're picking the house battery. I could also pick the starter battery voltage here. And it will send an, it'll send an email to us at Safari here. And our gold support team then respond to that. So uh, it means that he can have his uh, boat uh, just sitting in the yard charging from solar. And we've got it all covered, I've got to say. How good's that?